okay now generate package.json for your project what does that mean so for your node project basically if you want to download any automation frameworks like um, typescript protractor or whatever related to npm basically a node is the platform here and whatever tools are built on node you can download it with the help of package.json file so simply we create one package.json file and in that json file we will just ask what we need to download okay and then you use command called npm install so when you give this command npm install node module will scan your package.json file and it will check what all softwares we were asking to download and it will download for you it's just like maven.pom.xml if you are already aware of maven uh, for your java projects there is a file called pom.xml you just provide all the dependencies what all you need for your project in this xml file and you will automatically maven will pull up all those dependencies jars for you whatever you mentioned in pom.xml file similarly for your node projects you have package.json file and what all you need you will mention in this file and you will hit this command npm install so that node duty is to scan this file look what all we declared as what we needed and it should bring from online to our um, repository so that's the whole concept so to do that first of all you need to create package.json file and thereafter you can give the information what all you need okay so how do you generate package.json file it's very simple first of all i'll work on the commands i can open terminal here if you just click somewhere here double click you will see the terminal like this here select terminal option just hit and enter so that you will see the path to your project you can either do it from your command prompt by providing commands or same terminal is available in your visual studio code as well as it is developed by the same windows microsoft team they have embedded same terminal ui in your visual studio code as well all right so npm init is the command which will help us to auto generate package.json for our project so hit and enter so it's asking what package name i have to provide so basically when package.json is getting created it will have some metadata like about what is your project what is your package name who is the author what is the version number so all these are basic details you can just provide whatever you can give for this package name you can say automation and hit and enter sorry name can no longer be capital letters that's fine let's give the small letters version if you think that 1.0.0 .0 is okay just hit and enter so that it will take whatever it showing there description we need not give anything just hit and enter again these are not required for now i'll teach you in the framework lectures what is the test command and how to work with that okay author you can give your name if you want and license you can skip by hitting and enter and it's asking is this okay this is how your package.json file will be created okay perfect then type yes and that's it so now come back to your folder and you see that package.json is created for you nice okay now it's time to bring our hero which is cypress to into our machines 
okay the main character of our film <laughs> is the cypress right so now let's introduce that hero into our a system and he will be carrying out for the rest of this course okay package.json is done so for downloading cypress i will point to their official website for better understanding okay cypress.io is their framework go to the docs and installing cypress you better keep this page as handy there are a lot of stuff declared here um, they have given a number of ways how to install cypress but don't worry and don't get panicked by seeing so much of content here if you just follow my course i will cover all the main points required and you really need not worry about the so much of content here okay so you need to install cypress so what they were saying either you need to first of all declare the cypress dependency in your package.json file and you can use npm install it will be done if you think or if you don't know how to declare cypress dependency in my package.json you still need not worry there is a command called npm install cypress when you provide like this first of all um, your project your node will look into package.json whether the cypress is present or not obviously it will not be present because we did not declare so then it will go online and it will check for cypress repository in their npm repositories once it is present there then it will pull up into your machine and then you see this command save dev that means it will save the dependency into your package.json file so that going forward if you ship this project to your another colleague to work on he need not again write npm install cypress all this because for the first time we are downloading cypress and we are saving it in our package.json so when others are working they can simply provide npm install because we are saving this dependency information in our package.json so that tomorrow when you run simply npm install it will go to the package.json as we saved it already yesterday it will just pull up the cypress and you need not deliberately mention install cypress and save it in your package.json okay for the first time you need to provide this command as you don't have the dependency information in your package.json okay so you got it right npm install and the command cypress save dev you can just copy paste um, the same command here okay hit and enter and now it will go and get cypress for you from the npm repositories that's it very simple with one single command cypress is in your machine and no more further installations or further setting up any process so that's why javascript frameworks are very cool with the help of this npm with one single command whole setup will be in your system you can see that downloading cypress uh, unzipping cypress may take some time it might take around um, three or four minutes based upon your system configuration but have a patience within three four minutes you will see complete installation is done so that you are good to go to work on your first test case with cypress so let me pause this video i don't want to waste the time until it runs 100 percent i'll be back once it's showing us 100 here perfect installation is done you can see that it unzipped cypress and finished installation cool all right so 
Now to run our test cases, there are two different ways in Cypress. One, you can run it from your command line by providing um, commands. And another beautiful way is to run it from test runner. What is this test runner? And this made this particular test runner is very unique and you will not find for any other automation course. And this is one of the top future which making Cypress to stand on top. So in our next lecture, let's see what is this test runner and how do we run test using test runner and as well as from command line by just building one basic test. Okay, let's build some basic test and see the different ways of running it through Cypress. Alright, thank you.